Alright, what's going on guys? Luke have another PvP build, this time with a Magical Necromancer with something unique I would say, with a detection base build against all those Night Blades and Gankers. They will hate this build. What makes this build so special are basically the glyphs on the jewelry with cooldown reduction on our potions. Like this we can use our potion every 21 seconds instead of every 45 seconds means we could use the detection potions, which I do in this case, for 16 seconds detection, means we only have around 6 to 7 seconds cooldown on detection, and I use base Tiki Karma Hunter just once, like this we are at the 100% uptime of detection. But keep in mind, this build is not made for 1v eggs or dudes against good players, it's basically just a build to fuck up all those gang builds. With front bar Winterborn, Deals a good amount of frost damage, a small radius of uh, 3 meters even, and reduce the movement speed of 50%, which is really effective against those gank blades, especially this pillar, really hard to avoid. But then bank by retro attacky just for sustain, definitely needed since I don't use any uh, region glue for the jewelry with 3 times cooldown reduction. As mythic, one of my favorite mythics nowadays, Death Eater's Feet, gives a good amount of magical stamina and health, so helps for sustain, damage and even survivability. Really nice. Then 20 years filler for XHP and Balog for Exaptuation as monster set. I'm on 1 heavy, 1 medium and 5 light. With 1 well fitted, 1 sturdy and the rest impen. Full prismatic glyphs like always on the body. Then, like I said, cooldown reduction on every single jewelry piece. Like this, we are almost at 23 seconds cooldown reduction. Really nice. Then, front bar winter one eye stuff. Like this, we can easy proc this set. And back bar sword and board. Powered sturdy. And the escape is poisons. Skills front bar car hunter for major prophecy and minor berserk. And slay another 3% extra weapon spell damage. Then, blast bones, stalking blast bones. Hungry Scythe as spammable still, which is undodgeable, really nice, against all those roller blades, really effective. Morsel Koi for sustain and healing, bigger as self heal, that's more flex spot here, since I don't need the generation. With the detection potions, we already have access to major sorcery. Then Dombeck of Smiting, SCC and aggressive ultimate, back bar plus armor for minor major bleach. Race against time, resistance flash, as burst heal, summons armor, resistance buff, spirit garden for healing and 10% extra damage mitigation, and back bar, spare wall, especially effective against the sniper. Race Khajiit, probably not the best choice for 12% crit damage, health, magical stamina, and region. Then Mundus the Apprentice, we don't need the Artonarch, with this amount of cooldown reduction of potion. We can basically spam those detection potions for Magicka region. Clerk for Cetus for buff food, 20 points in health and the rest in Magicka. Potions, like I said, mainly detection potions. If I'm really under pressure, I can basically spam the Tricer potions. CPs, blue ones, biting ore, mastered arms, ironclad and loose rebuff, nothing special here, and red ones, celebrity, sustained by suffering, pain's refuge, and slippery. Combination super simple on this build, prepare for self race against time, apply plus armor for minor magic beach, stalk your blast bones, dawnbreaker and then spam scythe. That's the end of another pvp build, I will start the next couple of days with my pve builds, so this will be probably the last pvp build for this patch, means stay tuned for pve builds for every single class, like I do it in every patch. See you guys in the next video. Peace.